Not only is the recent heat a major concern, but this morning North Carolina is officially in a flash drought. Meteorologist Chris Mulcahy is standing by to break down what that really means with a special Friday edition of Weather IQ. Hey there, Chris. Hey there, Sarah. Yeah, I'm always here to raise your Weather IQ. And when you hear flash drought, well, what does that mean? Well, think what a flash flood is. That means all of a sudden a rush of water and then you have a flood threat. Now, all of a sudden you had temperatures that were in the mid to the upper 90s for the better part of a week. And then you had barely any rain in the month of June. So it doesn't matter what we've done for the year. We've had over 23 inches and it's about two inches above the normal. But June hasn't been good for us. Think about what's happening in June. All those plants are pretty much at their peak. They're taking up a lot of moisture from the ground. We're at our hottest temperatures of the year. So the hot temperatures, the plants being very active in the lack of rain, that's what led to the flash drought where we've only had an inch of rain. Yesterday, by the way, we were at 0.99. So finally you're like, hey, it's raining. You have that good soaking rain. We only saw 0 0.02 inches. That's not going to help us out. So not only do we need to catch up over 2.6, six inches realistically you need to double it to be able to cure this map. So here's the most recent update from the US drought monitor. Yellow, that means dry, abnormally dry. That's not technically drought. It's called the precursor to drought. At this point, lawns aren't doing great. They're starting to turn brown. This area that you're seeing right here, really starting from Mount Airy down through Greensboro, Fayetteville included, and most of the eastern side of the Carolinas, that officially is drought status. That's called moderate drought. But this increase is astronomical. This is the flash drought we're talking about. 99% of North Carolina and 100% of South Carolina are now under either a dry or a drought status. It's a 52% increase for South Carolina. And the crazy thing is, this is up 97 to 100% in over a month. That's right. So you're seeing those yellows and uh, some of those then we call a tan color off towards the north. That is not a good situation. We're 56% of North Carolina under moderate drought, 40% of South Carolina. And if we don't get any rain, luckily there are some thunderstorms in the forecast. This will only exponentially really become a problem. So one last note, what happens when you're at this level? Well, you're expecting really pastures to be dry and then you're seeing those brown lawns I mentioned, but at the moderate drought, crops begin become a little bit more stressed. Wildfire danger also increases. So on those breezy days, just try to avoid any burning. And my flowers, not my, my wife's flowers, <laughs> in the lawn, I'm out every day now. Yeah. <laughs> You have, you to, have well. to, yeah. Oh, yeah. And if you have well water, those wells could yeah. be getting lower as well. So yeah, we need we the rain, Larry. What are we going to do, man? Well, the rain deficit, we're getting close to three inches below where we should be for this time of the year. We do have some opportunities as we head into the upcoming weekend. So that will be some good news for us, that rain deficit. Uh,